guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm telling you guys what went down in Las Vegas this past Okay, technically it wasn't this past weekend, it was like a couple weekends ago. But I'm telling you what went down a couple weeks ago in Vegas. Now, it wasn't your normal Vegas trip with the ladies. Road trip! It was more of like a business trip. It's not that exciting, but it was exciting. There are basically eight girls, including myself, that I've never met before. So your girl had to turn on her extrovert skills and use them the whole weekend. The eight of us compiled into those white suspicious vans you're not supposed to get into. We made our trip to Viva Las Vegas. It was about a four hour trip. We made a pit stop at In-N-Out, of course, because we were hungry and In-N-Out sounded like the best option. So why did I go on this conference? Well, I randomly signed up to... And so I signed up and I got it and my camera's falling. Back to Vegas. So. After lunch, we headed to the hotel down. It was actually not in Vegas, Vegas. It was like off Vegas at the M Resort Hotel, which by the way, is like the honorary hotel for Raiders. They had like Raiders things everywhere. For dinner, we ate at the Raiders Tavern Grill, whatever. Tell me why my friend ordered a side of asparagus and they were humongous. Like they were a little too big to be asparagus so that takes us to day one of the conference i was super nervous because i i've never been to a conference and i just didn't know what to expect i literally bought clothes to look professional peep the fit all from abercrombie shout out abercrombie i also got complimented on the pants and the girl at the table literally bought the pants right when i told her which ones they were so Abercrombie, you're welcome for that sale. The first person to speak was Doa J. Ross, and she is the Deputy General Manager of the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And so basically she was just introducing the whole conference, talking about how the whole theme of the conference is living with no limits. Something with no limits. Us women have no limits. And we were off to the rest of the conference. All right guys, we are out here in Vegas and, oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I cannot publicly vlog. We're just going to all these meetings and meeting all these other engineer leaders. It's very cool. All right, guys. <laughs> Day one of Sweet Conference. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's 18. Don't mind me. <laughs> The first session we went to was actually super fun and it was just a great way to start the weekend. It was called Shaping Resilience Through the Lens of Engineering and Music. It went over coping mechanisms and how music brings us together. Benefits of music on your mental health. just one of the sessions that we attended there were so many that day i'm not gonna go over each and every one of them but basically a lot of them were like empowering talking about like your career super women even without a cape breaking your your boundaries finding your path taking action it was just like a whole social draining experience <laughs> And then after all the sessions were done, it was dinner time. And after dinner, there were like games and raffle prizes. So there was bingo and I won or I like got bingo, but 
the rule was it had to be an X, so it has to go cross in order to win. So I didn't win the bingo, even though I did get bingo. Whatever. However, there was another raffle, and your girl won that raffle. It was a jade bracelet, a little chunky jade bracelet, which I will, which I gave to my mom. But I was so shocked to win that because, like, what? What? Which leads us to day two. Day two, I was super self-conscious because I was wearing a white top, kind of like this. But it was cropped, and I didn't mean for it to be cropped. So I was super scared that people were going to see like my midriff or my midriff. And I was like, oh my god, that's not professional. I was freaking out, but it's okay because I had a blazer and I just buttoned it up. We attended more sessions. I don't know what to call them. We attended more TED Talks. They're like mini TED Talks, basically. We attended those the rest of the day. There was also a career fair, and let me tell you, career fairs are so intimidating. This was my first career fair. I had some encounters that I wasn't very happy about. It was very a learning experience. I'm not gonna talk about it publicly online. Just the whole experience was very interesting, and I don't know how to say it without saying it. So, moving on. After the career fair, there were more TED Talks and sessions to attend to. I took a little break and went to the ho back to the hotel to take a little nap because I was socially exhausted and once again. Like the social battery, I was like at 2% left. One session that I really want to talk about was called the imposter phenomenon. The lady basically talked about imposter sh syndrome. I felt that that TED Talk was very inspiring. I learned a lot from it. She basically went over the five types of imposter syndromes, like the perfectionist, the expert, the soloist, natural genius, and superhuman, and ways to kind of combat it, focusing on positive self-talk or keeping a wins folder, which I thought was really nice. Just like a list of accomplishments to remind yourself that you are doing great and don't let those negative talks and negative thoughts ruin your goals. It was finally the end of the day. It had a crepe bar, which I was so excited for. It was actually so delicious. It was amazing. I devoured it. I had ice cream. I think it was like caramelized bananas, strawberry. Oh, so good. That was what went down in Las Vegas 2024. I've never been to a conference like that. It definitely got me out of my comfort zone. I was on a trip with eight random girls. I met even more strangers and I was just like, what am I doing right now? But I'm very grateful I went on the trip. I learned so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of this little weekend trip. I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.